Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm speaking to you from my basement, and I'm missing a really great show on TV about sea otters. It is utterly amazing, and I'm missing it so that I can teach you guys some math. Today's lesson is Stretching and Shrinking 3.1. It is all about reptiles and quadrilaterals, and it is on page 39. It's problems A through C, and then your ACE problems today are going to be um, parts 1 through 3, 23 through 25, 33, 34. And your learning target is that you can see how shapes can be duplicated to increase their scale factor. So this is a quick one, um, and it's kind of fun. Um, so here are the only notes you really need to put in. Make sure to put in the page number so we can reference it later. So we put in lesson 1.3. So we put name, date, and crew in there. And we want to put in repeating tilings. And the short for repeating tilings is a reptile. And a reptile, basically, it's, it's a pun. Um, math people like puns, I guess. And it is a tiling that repeats itself with copies of itself. For instance, when we have this rectangle right here, when we tile it and make four copies of it, we create a much larger version of it that is twice as tall and twice as wide. So even though we've made four copies of it, its scale factor is equal to 2. Because if we take a congruent side, we went from 1 to 2, it has a scale factor of 2. But basically it means making a larger version of a shape using um, copies of itself. So for instance, some shapes can reptile and others cannot. If I have this trapezoid right here, by making copies of it, eventually I get a much, much bigger trapezoid. However, if I take a look at this hexagon, no matter how many times I tile this hexagon, I will not get a new hexagon. Okay. Now, this is one of those fun things where we have um, art crossing over with math, and the two be kind of become indistinguishable from each other. And this is not notes, you don't have to copy any of these down, they're just incredibly cool. And what they are are different examples of reptiles that have been created. And if you look at each of these very carefully, individually, you'll notice, for instance, if I have an original shape and I stack it in the right way, I get a much larger copy of itself. And one famous artist that used that a lot was M.C. Escher. And this is an example of his work right here, where he has these fish tiling into each other. And he did that by creating really basic shapes and then expanding on them. And, for instance, in this case, he took the basic shape of a trapezoid. And if you look, all of these kind of break down into that basic trapezoidal shape, um, they're just kind of tilted at one another um, and created this really beautiful stunning pieces of artwork. He's definitely worth a Google. But I'm going on. This is supposed to be a quick lesson. Today's lesson is going to be lesson 3.1 practice and it's going to be located on page 39 and it's going to be problems A through C. You're then going to need to do problems 1 through 3, 20 through 20, 22 through 25, 33 and 34. Make sure you have name, date, and crew on this lesson. All right, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and have fun.